welcome to Newark, Ohio, where not only do we have a building shaped like a giant Longaburger picnic basket, we have the old jail that housed the serial killers, the 22 caliber killers, and where a man also got a DUI for driving a motorized bar stool. And we also have the Earthworks Indian Mounds, which date back to 100 BCE from the Hopewell culture. We have Indian Mounds here. But I will tell you one other interesting thing about here in Newark, Ohio. An individual who became so famous, he moved out to Las Vegas and became one of the biggest singing icons in the business. I'm talking about Mr. Entertainment, Midnight Idol, Mr. Las Vegas. I'm talking about Wayne Newton. Wayne Newton lived here in Newark, Ohio for a very brief time. And there's a couple of locations that I've been doing some research and I kind of have an idea of where he used to live at. So today's video, we're going to check out where he used to live and the school that he attended while he was here for a very short time. So, without further ado, let's learn a little bit about Wayne Newton. Why not? So after doing an extensive amount of research and asking around on Facebook if people know anything about Wayne Newton and his time here in Newark, I only came up with one specific area in Newark that he was well known for. I'm not saying he lived here, but I'm saying a lot of the people that I talked to found him here in what is called Little Texas on the south end of Newark. Tucked away, just around downtown, the south, south end of downtown. There is a baseball park here down that way. There's like a little playground here, then there's like a river back that way. But this is a general area of where people have claimed to have played with Wayne Newton, to have babysat Wayne Newton. A lot of people in the in their older years have had a lot of stories about Wayne Newton being here in what is called Little Texas. I just can't imagine a younger 10, 12 year old Wayne Newton running around the streets down here because Little Texas isn't necessarily the greatest part of Newark. I'm not saying there's anything bad about it. I'm just saying it's Newark's definitely got some of its areas. It might be nice around here. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not from this part of town. I've only been down here like twice, but I'm sure there's some nice parts around here. But back to the subject at hand, Wayne Newton. If anybody is watching this video that has any stories on Wayne Newton being in Newark, please comment down below. I would love to hear it. It's just really interesting to hear about celebrities being in your hometown, let alone growing up. Well, I guess you really couldn't say that he really grew up here. He was only here for a short time. He had really bad asthma and he had to end up moving away to Phoenix. And then he ended up moving back. He was back and forth with his family for quite some time. So he does have his ties here in Newark, which is pretty cool. Born Carson Wayne Newton on April 3rd, Norfolk, Virginia. He recently just had a birthday as well because it's like mid-April right now. Uh, anyway, his parents' names were Patrick and Evelyn, and he is of English, Irish, Scottish, Welsh, and German descent. But he claims he's Native American because his mother is half Cherokee and his father is part, I hope I'm going to say this right, Powhatan? Indian, maybe? I'm not sure how to pronounce it. But there are no records that document this, so nobody knows if this is actually true. Anyway, 
At the age of six, he learned to play guitar, piano, and the steel guitar, which is pretty cool. He uh, moved to Newark at the age of 10. He wasn't in Ohio for very long. While he was here, he began singing in local clubs, theaters, and fairs with his older brother, Jerry. Together, they were the Newton Rascals, or otherwise known as the Rascals in Rhythm. And they ended up moving to Phoenix in 1952 because he had really bad asthma, and the warm weather really helped his asthma. And while in Phoenix, he attended North High School and left before his junior year ended. And I'm almost positive that he moved back to Newark again because he was back and forth for quite some time. So my story about Wayne Newton is actually kind of interesting because being that I'm from Newark, younger I had heard that name from my parents and I didn't think anything of it until I seen the movie Vegas Vacation, you know, with Chevy Chase, Beverly D'Angelo, Ethan Embry, Randy Quaid, that movie. So he was in that movie, obviously he made a cameo and he was singing to uh, Clark's wife, Ellen, at the show. Um, always had joked about that with my family, but I honestly did not know that Wayne Newton was a singer until I actually did my research. This dude can sing. And at a very young age at that, like, that is so crazy. And then thinking that he's lived here in Newark, it just, it just blows my mind. And he's also had cameos in uh, other movies, uh, Vegas Vacation, obviously, The Hangover, he was in some photos at the end of the movie. He was also in some TV shows, The Ed Sullivan Show and uh, The Lucy Show, which was a follow-up of... I Love Lucy. He was in a ton of stuff. Cameos. If you look up his filmography online, he was in a ton of TV shows, movies. It was great. He has a whole whole slew of stuff under his belt. And being that he's a singer, it kind of goes hand in hand, I think. But it's just crazy to think about that out here in this general area, back this way, is the entrance to the Little Texas. Now I'm standing right along the river's edge here and it's kind of peaceful other than these cars going across the bridge here but uh it's just a super nice day so I figured I'd come out and film and tell the world about Wayne Newton living in Newark Ohio he began his early music career at Hillbilly Park here in Newark Ohio in the 1950s with his older brother Jerry called the Newton Rascals or as I said earlier the Rascals and Rhythm. But in 1957, him and his brother were signed to ABC Paramount, having hit singles such as Baby, 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 and I'm Sad, Blue, and Lonely, and then later would be Donka Shane. Okay, so the only problem I have with doing this particular topic is not knowing the exact house number that Wayne Newton grew up in but apparently he had some family, aunts, uncles, cousins that lived here in Little Texas. He didn't actually stay. He didn't actually live in a house here in Little Texas. So I do have a question for the locals that are possibly watching this video. There is a location where Wayne and his son Jerry when they were younger, they would go and sing at a place called Hillbilly Park. Now, if you're not familiar with Hillbilly Park, Hillbilly Park was a concert venue on the east end of Newark that uh, a lot of old country singers would come and put on shows such as Johnny Cash, uh, Hank Williams, and a bunch of other big names, and then Wayne Newton and his brother Jerry would go and sing there. That's kind of kind of where they got a good start. So if anybody knows the exact location of Hillbilly Park, shoot me a message on social media. I'll drop the links to my social media below, Instagram, Facebook, you know, Twitter and all that. Shoot me a message and let me know where exactly Hillbilly Park is because I would love to just kind of see it from a distance. I know it's on private property right now. But I saw that people can see the tunnel from the road and I drove by a little bit ago because I wanted to incorporate it in this video but 
I couldn't find it. So somebody shoot me a message and tell me where it's at because I'd really like to see it. All right, so now we have one more location to go to. It is what I believe is 95% true of the junior high school that Wayne Newton went to. I'm gonna take you there now and talk a little bit more about him. And I hope you guys are having fun Follow me along. It's not over yet. Let's go. All right, so here I am at the second location. I'm about 95% sure with all the research that I've done that this is the school, junior high school, that Wayne Newton went to before he and his family had moved to Phoenix. And I'm here at the school now. I'm gonna show you what the school looks like since he was here. And uh, I actually went to school here as well too, so that's kind of cool. Um, I'm just gonna walk around the school and kind of talk about his growing up life, if you will. So uh, let's take a look at the school. So in 1966, he bought five acres of desert land about 10, 15 minutes south of the Las Vegas Strip. So when he was doing shows, he didn't have to go very far, which makes sense. Uh, but he did have some hit singles such as Daddy, Don't You Walk So Fast, Years, Red Roses for a Blue Lady, and Donkashe, which is actually pretty awesome because it was featured in the movie Ferris Bueller's Day Off. For those who are familiar with that movie, we see Ferris Bueller sing that famous song by Wayne Newton. And here's a little bit of more information that you probably didn't know that the locals probably know. He did come back in the early 1990s for a parade which was downtown Newark and he was the Grand Marshal. So he got to float down the parade and wave at everybody. How cool is that? It's crazy because I'm trying to remember where my classrooms were when I went here and this was like 2003, 2004 maybe. I do know that when I was in fifth grade along the second level here is where those classrooms were and then when I was in sixth grade they were on the top level and I remember some of my classrooms were up here in this corner and all along the second level and there's also some in the back and then the bottom level right here I'm pretty sure was like the offices uh, over here was the music classroom and over there was the art area and back behind that is the lunchroom but this is the front of it as far as I can remember, it has looked like this since, since I've been here. All right, so now we're gonna walk around the back and uh, check out what's going on back here. This is the back of the school where it's very possible that school buses could have dropped off Wayne Newton here if he rode the bus or his parents. And I haven't been back here since I was in junior high school. Well, at the time, Central Intermediate. But, wow, just kind of taking it all in here because I remember doing so much basketball over here, basketball hoops. I remember throwing the basketball up on that roof a lot. Um, basketball hoops over here. It wasn't a very big playground, obviously. And then over here in this corner where these chain link fences come together is where our kickball field used to be. So it would be like facing this way when we would play kickball. I'm gonna walk over here. This is like the tether ball court area, four square. And to my knowledge, I don't really know if this is an actual up and running school. I, I know it was for people that like need help with schooling and stuff. I don't, I don't really know. Yeah, tetherball right here, four square. The gym is right there. That sounds like there's people in there. 
playing basketball maybe I don't know and this is where the lunchroom used to be cafeteria I do find it kind of strange and odd that I'm shooting a video at a school <laughs> I've done videos at high schools but nothing below that it's kind of strange there's some cars parked out here I'm getting some really weird looks but I'm here because of Wayne Newton for those watching the video those are new you know I do videos on celebrities in or around where I'm from and it just so happens that Wayne Newton lived here in Newark Ohio so now you know all right guys I think that's gonna be a wrap on the childhood slash growing up life of Mr. Entertainment, Mr. Las Vegas, the midnight idol, Wayne Newton. Growing up here in Newark, Ohio, so very strange to think about. But like I said, growing up, I had heard the name. My parents had mentioned it a couple times, but I didn't think anything of it. But until I saw you know, Vegas vacation, I didn't know who he was. You know, at the time I didn't have internet, so I had no clue who he was. I didn't even know that he was a singer. But uh, yeah, um, being this video is short and sweet, I kind of hope you guys uh, enjoyed a little of history of Newark, Ohio here. Something that the older folks know about that I think the younger generation needs to know about. But all in all, from what I heard, about Wayne Newton from his time living here it's it's a hit or miss with anybody really like I heard some bad stories I heard some good stories just depends but then again you'll have that with literally just about anybody but he is Mr. Las Vegas and it was really interesting to do a video on him so uh, I'm gonna end things here uh, thank you guys so much for watching I greatly appreciate it don't forget to hit that subscribe button like and share let me know what you think and uh, I'll see you guys next time I'm Jordan Spilmquist.